You've probably seen lots of videos on YouTube about the future release of Windows 11 with all these new gadgets and gizmos. But how is Windows 11 really going to benefit your business? How much is Windows 11 going to cost? And what about poor old Windows 10? Well, those are just a few of the questions that I'll be answering in today's video. Hello friends, if you've not been here before, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a UK business IT consultant. I help small businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. Microsoft have announced that they're going to be releasing a new operating system. It's the first operating system they've released since they released Windows 10 back in 2015. The new operating system is going to be called, wait for it, Windows 11. I wonder who thought of that name? And it's going to be released later on this year. At the moment, Microsoft have just released what is called a preview version, so we can all have a little look at what this new operating system is going to look like. What we'll then do is get some feedback on the preview version, and they might make a few changes before they release the actual full version, hopefully in October 2021. So, Microsoft are going to release this new operating system in October. So, what exactly is going to change for your business once we get to October? Well, there's going to be two ways that you can get your hands on a copy of Windows 11. The first way is by upgrading your existing computer, and the second way is by buying a new computer with Windows 11 already installed. Let's have a look at both these scenarios in turn. So firstly, upgrading your existing computer. Now just because Microsoft are releasing a new operating system, it doesn't mean that you need to go out and buy lots of new computers for your business. The computers that you already have will most likely be okay, but I will get back onto that in just a moment. Windows 11 is most likely going to be available as a free download. The exact same thing happened with Windows 10. So if you've got all your computers in your business running Windows 10, you're going to be able to download and upgrade them all to Windows 11 without any additional software costs. Now we've already said that Windows 11 is going to be released in October 2021. There's no set date yet, but it's looking likely. But the free downloads are probably not going to be available until early 2022, possibly around springtime. The first thing that you're going to want to know is if your computer hardware that you've got already is compatible and capable of running Windows 11 before you upgrade. So Microsoft are going to make this nice and easy for you. They're going to create and release a tool that you can download on your existing computer and it'll tell you whether the hardware is compatible with Windows 11. Now as of the time of filming this video that tool is not available but I will put a link below this video and you can keep checking and I'm sure it will become available very soon. The hardware requirements that a computer needs to be to run Windows 11 are quite small. So you're going to need 4 gig of memory, a 64 gig hard drive and a 1 gigahertz processor with two cores and a TPM chip. Now if your computers are new-ish, and when I say that, I mean that you've purchased them in the last three years, then that hardware should be absolutely fine to run Windows 11. But if your PCs are a little bit older than that, the hardware in them might be a little bit dated and it might be time to upgrade these PCs before you consider Windows 11. I think Windows 11 is going to be the operating system that is going to leave a lot of older computers behind. Those specifications that I've discussed already, the 4GB of RAM, the 64GB hard drive, are just minimum specifications. So if you're wanting good performance and a good experience, I would be looking to at least double those if not quadruple them so if you're looking at buying a new computer you want perhaps 16 gig of ram a 256 gig ssd and a core i5 processor something like that to get the best experience out of windows 11. The next option you have to get your hands on Windows 11 is to buy a brand new computer. 
From October time, if you buy a new computer, it will most likely have Windows 11 already with it. Now you might be thinking, I don't want to buy Windows 11 just yet. Our business just isn't ready for it. But what happened back in 2015 is when you bought a new computer, it had Windows 10 with it. That was the new operating system. But because a lot of businesses were still using Windows 7, you got the option to downgrade Windows 10 to Windows 7 and then the option to upgrade it back to Windows 10 whenever you are ready. I expect something similar will happen with the release of Windows 11. I think you'll get an option to use Windows 10 or Windows 11. So that's really quite handy. In terms of your business hardware replacement strategy, there's gonna be no reason that you need to change anything. Just keep replacing PCs as you need to within that three to five year time frame. There might be a few of you wanting to know what is happening to poor old Windows 10. It's a perfectly good operating system. Well, Windows 10 isn't going anywhere just yet. Microsoft have announced that they will support Windows 10 until 2025. So you've got plenty of time to make your mind up about upgrading to Windows 11. Let's now talk about a few of the new features with Windows 11. A few of these features that I think can benefit businesses. It's the new features after all that make people want to go out and upgrade the software. Overall, Windows 11 has been designed to be more streamlined and to help people become more productive. The first big change is the look and the feel of Windows 11. It feels more Mac-like. It's got rounded corners to the windows, it's got pastel-like colors. But I think the biggest change about the look and feel is the start menu. For so many years, we've been used to the start menu being on the left-hand side of the screen. And with Windows 11, it's bang in the center of the middle of the screen just like Apple Macs. I think this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. The second feature I want to talk about is the integration of Microsoft Teams. With Windows 11, Microsoft Teams has been built directly into the operating system. So you can see the Teams icon in your new start menu in the center of the page. From here, you can just click on there and you can send a chat, have a voice or video call with any of your contacts. From here, you can also launch the full version of Microsoft Teams as well. Most of our customers, if not all, are using Microsoft Teams in some capacity. So I think this integration is going to be a definite plus. There's another feature that I really like that I think will benefit businesses and that feature is brand new. It's called Snap Layouts and Snap Groups. What you can do with Snap Layouts and Snap Groups is you can group common applications or websites that you use for popular tasks together. And when you want to do that task, it'll launch all the applications and the websites that you need to complete it in one go. This feature has been introduced to try and make us a little bit more productive. We have to make fewer clicks, which takes less time. Hopefully that's gonna be a definite benefit for our business customers. So the final thing I want to talk about is whether your business should be rushing out to upgrade to Windows 11 as soon as it's released, or should you hang on a little bit? The first thing to know is there's, there's no rush to upgrade to Windows 11. Windows 10 is still going to be around until 2025. So you've still got a couple of years to sit on it and think about the benefits. But before you do upgrade to Windows 11, there's three things that you must consider. The first thing I want you to consider is the applications that your business uses on a daily basis. What applications does your business absolutely rely on? Perhaps these applications might not be compatible with Windows 11. My IT company looks after a lot of accountants who use a lot of different software packages that are often quite slow to get in line with new operating systems. So as a business, you've got to consider this. There's no point rushing out, upgrading all your computers, and then certain things just don't work with Windows 11. The second thing to consider is that there's always gonna be teething problems with any new software release. So it doesn't necessarily pay to be the first one to adopt. Why not wait a few months and then a few of these teething issues might be ironed out. The third thing to consider is the size of your business. If you've got a business with 20, 50, 100 computers, then you can't just gung-ho and upgrade everything overnight. Upgrades like this have to be planned, tested, 
and implemented and you've got to do it in a really uniform fashion otherwise it's going to cause a lot of disruption for your business so windows 11 is due to be released in october i will film some more videos nearer the time on this new operating system and how i think it can benefit your business thanks for watching